Hello and welcome to the 27th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at input group sizing. We'll be using the source code from the 26th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have an input group set up. Bootstrap provides sizing methods for input groups. This is useful as certain input groups may be more important than others. By resizing this, you can visually convey this to the user. To implement this, it's extremely simple. Let's show you the code. So let's open up our index.html. You just need to add the size class to the input, uh, aka basically these. So I'm just going to zoom in. And so here we've got our input group, and what you just need to put is input dash group dash, and now you saw it, I'm going to put LG, which is the largest, and that stands for large. Now here, what we're going to do is input dash group dash MD, which is the medium size. And then down here, we're going to put input uh, dash group dash SM, which is the smallest input. And as by default, we only had, or from the previous tutorial, we had three different input groups. So we're just going to do large, medium, and small. As an extra task, what we want you to do is put an extra small um, input group to see how that looks. So now let's just save this. It's already been saved and run it. Okay, so we have our input groups. And as you can see, the size has slightly changed. It's gone large, medium, and small. So what we want to do, what we want you to do is as an extra task, try this extra small size. Also put these inside the column and the row here and see how they adjust according to the screen or according to the browser resizing. Also see what happens when you just put the input group size and not the input group class as well. Basically what we mean is remove this. That's essentially what we want you to do. Remove that and just see how the input looks when we when you just have input dash group dash basically your size. It doesn't, have, it doesn't matter whether it's large, medium, small or extra small but just see what happens. The next tutorial will cover input group checkboxes and radio add-ons. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description as well. To see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.